Well, thanks for joining me for another daily touch point with CA staff. I love these times with you. Our staff has enjoyed making these videos and we'd love to hear from you and, and know if these uh, discipleship resources have really helped you to stay in God's word and stay encouraged one day at a time. Would you drop a little note to us and let us know how these daily touch points have encouraged you and your walk with God? Well, we're in Psalm 51 today. And Psalm 51 is a well-known psalm. It's one of the most profound psalms in scripture. One of the reasons it's so well-known is Psalm 51, uh, we believe was probably written by David after the situation with Bathsheba and her husband Uriah. Uh, many of you will know the, the, the famous story of David seeing Bathsheba bathing on the rooftop. And uh, he asked for her, he called for her to come and they had an affair together. And it was wrong what David did. A child uh, was, uh, uh, she became pregnant, but lost the child through that affair. The worst part of it, and it's all, it's, it's all bad, but the worst part of it is that David sent Bathsheba's husband to the front lines of battle and basically orchestrated a situation where he was vulnerable and was attacked and killed by the enemy. And David's plan was to sweep all this under the rug, hope everybody would forget about it, uh, certainly hope that Uriah would never know about it, and David could just go on with life, uh, now with Bathsheba as his wife, and uh, well, it would just all be a thing of the past and his friend Nathaniel calls him out and says, David, what you did was wrong. Really from start to finish, you did wrong. And David, his response, that's what we get here in Psalm 51. And it's a response we can all learn from. It is remarkable. David's response is to just own the whole thing and say, you're right. You're right. I was absolutely wrong. And he goes before God and he acknowledges his sin before God. And he acknowledges before God, I, I have messed up. You, your case against me, Lord, would be justified because I have done wrong and I need something. I need something that I don't have. I need your mercy, God, and I need your help to not live that way anymore. And so he asked God for forgiveness and he asked God to change him, to help him live differently. That's what repentance is. That's when we go before God and we say, I acknowledge something I did was wrong and Lord, I wanna live a new life with you, but I need you to help me live that new life. And I want you to hear just some of what he says. The, the psalm begins this way. Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love. And so David knows his repentance is in the context of God's love for him, not God's anger with him. God's angry about the sin, but God loves David. And so David can come to God and say, I need your mercy. He says, because of your great compassion, blot out the stains of my sins. And then he, he says this later on. It's one of my favorite verses in all the Bible. Verse 12, restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. You know, when we sin and we acknowledge it before God, it's possible that we still experience a kind of guilt burden, a weight of our guilt that can rob us of the joy we have in life with God and in his love. And it's not that we lose God's love for us, but we lose the joy that we have because of God's love for us. Sin can rob us of our joy. And so David doesn't say, restore your salvation to me, God. He says, restore that joy, that joy of being yours, Lord, and being forgiven by you. And then he says, make me willing to obey you. Help me to walk with you. Help me to walk in your way, God. 
And that's what we want to do in repentance. And so I want to pray for us today that God would give you the courage to come before him. If there's any matter in your heart, in your life, that you just want to say, God, have mercy and restore to me a joy. Fill me with your joy. Let's pray for that. God, we do. We ask you to forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of things that we've done wrong. And now, Lord, help us walk in newness with you. And God, help us walk in the salvation and in the mercy and in the forgiveness that you've given us. Restore, Lord, fill us with joy of being yours and help us to be obedient. Help us to walk your way, to honor you with our lives all day long. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thanks for joining me again for a daily touch point. Let us know how these videos have encouraged you one day at a time.